Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Welcome back to the PhoneGap uh, video tutorial. Today I'm gonna talk, we're gonna talk about uh, the PhoneGap plugins, uh, how we can integrate into the project and how we can use that fundamental uh, plugins in uh, PhoneGap project, whether it's on iOS or in Android. Okay, now uh, in my last video we have uh, uh, talked about the contact API, how we can manage the contact in the PhoneGap. Okay, today we're gonna talk about the yeah, this is the list uh, which uh, I'm gonna uh, complete uh, in next few video tutorials for the phone gap. Uh, the above three uh, are already completed device, dialogues, and uh, contacts. Uh, uh, we have completed the last contact. Today I'm gonna show you the splash screens, uh, how we can use the splash screens in uh, our uh, project. Okay, so let's start that. Uh, here I have created a project that is use of plugin, and after that I have uh, added the plugin called screen splash screens okay uh, default you will get the project like this okay I have made uh, some changes in the HTML page uh, just uh, taken the uh, this uh, link from bottom to top okay and I, add, I have added a simple script tag okay and uh, if you see here you will get the uh, show splash screen spinner true okay if you set it to the true it will show the splash screen this is flash screen and this is the spinner okay after loading uh, the index page is automatically get started okay so the iOS will uh, show the uh, splash screen automatically okay and after that if you want to manage uh, the splash screen you can also manage by using this plugin which we have already added to our project now here I'm gonna show you something how we can customize this splash screen whenever you want to use the plugin you have to uh, use that plugins within the on device ready function after the device is ready that means the Cordova uh, is loaded on Zoom then after you can access the plugin properly otherwise it will not work properly right let me check whether it's working or not yeah it's working now I'm gonna just remove this okay and uh, if you want to get details or the descriptions about the plugin you can find it over here okay see this is the show and hide we have a two methods show and hide and we have a you can say the uh, object through which I'm gonna call this okay and after that index.html and here navigator dot splash screen dot show okay but before that you need to set some timeout otherwise this will not execute properly okay function uh, first of all I will show you directly so you will get uh, the proper idea why I am using the set timeout okay if I uh, started the show it is not executing that means the splash screen is not showing now uh, I am setting the timeout uh, for the one second And now after that I'm setting it to show after a second it should be shown but still it's not showing uh, let me set an alert over here yeah okay the alert is calling but uh, this flash screen is not showing right so uh, we need to some modify something okay let's check the project what happened over here first of all I would like to remove this alert so I'll get a clear idea the timing is perfect navigator dot oops my mistake 
splash screen. Now after a second, uh, it will start the splash screen. Yes. Okay. Or uh, another. I'll set one more time out for five second, and uh, I'm just hiding this splash screen. Okay, it started, and after the five second, it will, it will get automatically hide. Right? That means the processing you can show like this uh, if you want to customize the uh, splash screen. Okay, uh, there is nothing to show because we have only two methods that is show and hide uh, through which you can hide the splash screen uh, on your index page or whatever the page you have added to your project. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, also watch my next video tutorials and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.